All right. Welcome back to Defense Like a Jedi. Yeah, I did try to post a few videos. I'm sure you guys clicked or some of you clicked on it because I saw the comments. There was no sound. And uh, I'm telling you, my video has sound. Uh, and it took me one night. I had to do it overnight, the first one. Then it took me a couple hours to get the thing downloaded after confirming it had sound. And again, it didn't have sound. So I'm gonna, And it was like a 37-minute video. It had a lot of juicy blabbering in there. Um, I'm just going to do a quick one point out of that video now and, and see if I can upload this and see if there's some sound to it. So um, let's move on. Uh, I'm just going to talk about one event. Um, gosh darn it. Now I forget who did the video. Uh, BD does Ebony, <laughs> plays Ebony. If, uh, if you haven't watched any of his videos, they're okay. They're informative. They aren't, you know, uh, super entertaining. Probably like me where you got the boring voice that doesn't hold your captive. I, I have a hard time learning from content creators that are really monotone and yeah and i know i do that too so uh, as far as like unprepared and blabbering like i am right now um so i'm just gonna do one quick thing he mentioned uh this lucky jackpot was his favorite event and i'm like oh that's interesting because i never pay attention to this one i'll just spin when i get it but um he says you know what i never really realized is you got to go over to this challenge quest and actually go through and look at what you're doing and and get these done now don't buy the package but all these other ones you can do every day and there's no red dot telling you to collect these damn things so i had always been coming in here and then just spinning what i had and then seeing if i could redeem anything and leaving but uh if you actually pay attention unlike me you would have uh i mean there's so many flipping events i miss so much crap because I just don't have time to dig into all this stuff. So this is one of the things I missed. Um, if you missed it, go in here, get these done. He had said that his buddy got two of these chests for free without spending. And uh, he usually gets blood of errors, I think he said. But uh, these chests uh, got me going, so to speak. I like these chests. And um, I will take, well... You get to select who you want. It's not random. So I have three of these chests right now, and I am not using them. Um, if you look at my Subcity Generals, were we done with that event? I try to move along so quickly to make these informational and less painful. Um, so, yeah, I think we're done with this event. You do the spin, you do that, you come back for the spins. Uh, I always put it on fast because it's really annoying. And it it's amazing. Like you see right now, I got three of the exact same thing. Every time, you almost always get three of the exact uh, emblems, which is completely impossible, or you'd go to the casino all the time. And the rewards actually kind of suck unless you get a mix bag. I don't know what the question marks are for, but the one you want is that second from the bottom, two crowns, and a question mark. I don't think you actually get question marks. I think it would be like two in a row and then nothing in a row after that is kind of what it seems you need or want to get but more often than not i get these top ones where i get all three matching which is kind of silly um i would love to take to get that top you know, get the share of the pool um never been that lucky so all right moving back to the subordinate city generals um baldwin i uh Let's see here. Um, uh, I could get... Here's what I'm trying to show you. Sorry, that message got me distracted. Uh, these uh, fragments, I only have 15 fragments, so I can't send him any more. With the three copies I could get already, um, I'm only two copies away. I don't know that I want to use those on on him because I like this Janet Carroll character um, Janet has uh, reduced enemy mounted troop attack by 25% it doesn't excite me too much unless I know I'm getting hit by mounted but enemy siege machine defense and HP everybody's trying to get siege HP um, so I'm trusting that it's good by all the experts raving about that's what they're targeting um, the way I understand it is Siege don't have a lot of HP, and uh, anything you can add to it will make a big difference in the outcome of a Siege bomb or, you know, Siege versus Siege. 
whether you're attacking or receiving hits from siege. So, um, with that's a lot of siege HP. It's very hard to get anywhere else. I'm thinking about just I have this copy, and then using the other three copies. Um, where are they here? So I have three. Why they don't merge them? I have three individuals of the exact same mayoral chest. Um, if I was to use one, I'm tempted to just. Obviously, I haven't been opening these. You can get these in this event. You can get them in the um, Giants Castle event, or the where you crack the tiles. Um, they are random on the third and fourth drop. So I've gotten three so far. Uh, um, not a very good drop rate at all. Uh, you're lucky to get one an event. Uh, from what I am seeing. So um, I'm tempted to save these and use them for Janet so that uh, I could have four or five different subsidies all with that. Um, I shouldn't be telling you guys this because I'm teaching people how to beat me and how I plan on beating them. But uh, anyways, I would have four subsidies gaining that HP for my siege. Let's just take a look at a siege report real quickly. Um Am I jumping all over the place on you guys? Uh, oh, these are all trash. Oh, no, I'd have to reload my game. That's so lame. <laughs> it's my fault. I, I should not have assumed that all those emails were going to load. Okay, um, Drexton, he is a dead keep. That's, I was just using him for the... the uh, uh, <clears throat> see, I get distracted. I'm supposed to have those turned off. Focus. Okay. So, um, why do I have a defense attack? Oh, yeah. Okay. Delete. All right. That was just, again, another, uh, uh, DA attack. All right. My siege attacks. I'll go over these reports in a different video. This is supposed to be like a five minute video. Um, I'm looking for an attack where I lost. Is this Siege? Uh, whatever. Um, that's not a Siege. This is good video. Now, where the heck? Oh, these will probably be Siege ones that I lost at. Uh, nope. This is probably just the end of the end of the uh, event where I'm just killing my own troops because it's over. Come on, man, give me something here. Am I that big of a range guy? Where are all my siege attacks? <laughs> Come on. I'm not even looking at these power exchanges. Oh, that's not good. Um, trying to find a siege here. Gosh, darn it. <laughs> this is good video. There we go. Um, I'll even put Jan Carroll as my, uh, Janet Carroll as my assistant on this one to see what kind of results I would get. So that, uh, I just wanted to take a look at the buffs, and you'll see that with my siege, I'm shooting 1265 HP. Without Janet on there, it'd be 1230. But um, just to see how how much I would be debuffing. If, if they were attacking me, the other guy has 900, and my debuff is half of that. Not quite half of that. So uh, my HP debuff is, is at 450, basically. So I would be adding 30% debuff to every uh, every uh, Janet that I have on a sub city. So um, that's my method of madness for that. So, all right, I'm going to cut this video short, see if I can upload it with sound, and uh, then I can go cover some of the other goodies that I had in the other video that got cut out. Uh, over and out.